I'm Bill with Tandem Cross, making good guns great. Before I get started, let me ask you to please like and share this video on whatever social media platform you found it on. If you're not already following us, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you're on YouTube, please click subscribe and the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video, you find out right away. Now on to the important stuff. The Walther P22 is a great gun and it's super fun to shoot. But when you disassemble it or reassemble it especially, you will have considerably less fun. The main reason for that is the recoil spring assembly. The rod and the spring are two completely disconnected parts and trying to keep them both under control while you put the slide back on can be a nightmare. Luckily, Tandem Cross's Sentinel captured spring rod solves that issue quickly and easily. The Sentinel is all one piece. The spring is captured between the two ends of the rod, so it's not going to go anywhere when you disassemble it, and it's easy to keep under control when you reassemble it. Installing your new Sentinel spring rod is incredibly easy and doesn't require any tools at all. We do recommend safety glasses because there's spring-loaded parts, but otherwise you should be able to do it quickly and easily if you follow these instructions. As always, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your firearm is clear and safe. Next, locate this tab at the front of the trigger guard. There's actually a tab on both sides. It's really one piece. But you can pull that tab down and then pull the slide all the way back and slowly let it forward to remove it from the pistol. Inside, you will find the stock spring rod and spring. Carefully take those out and set them aside, you won't be needing them. Then grab your new Sentinel. You'll want to take note of the Sentinel's two different ends. One is totally flat and has a plain metal look, and one is a two-level thing, the lower level of which is a brass-colored ring. The flat end is going to go into this hole here underneath the barrel. And when you replace the slide, the other end of the spring rod is going to go into this hole on the bottom of the slide, right beneath the barrel hole. So now you can put your slide back on. You'll want to position it forward of the barrel, making sure that the barrel and the spring rod line up with their respective holes. And then you can just pull it back and push it forward and you're good. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video, be sure to let me know in the comments. And don't forget to click like and subscribe and that little notification button so that you are the first to know whenever we upload new videos. You can also find us elsewhere on the internet like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course, you can find our products at www.tandemcross.com. See ya!